Financial News Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We had the Dow Industrials finish up 27, NASDAQ up 37, S&P's up 5.5, gold contract up $11.30, trading at $14.79 an ounce. We had silver up 21 cents, $16.92 an ounce. Both all the metal markets, folks, basically got caught a bit up here today. Uh, copper, copper, was, which is going up uh, quite for quite some time. Right now, we're up two and a half pennies at 2.79 a pound. Light sweet crude down 44 cents, trading 58 dollars 80 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, they also caught a bid. You had the 10-year up 10 ticks, trading out at a price point of 129.08. The 30-year, 30-year was up by 21 ticks at 158.23. Let's go over to the 30-year for a second and take a look at this because what we had in both cases, you had the Federal Reserve come out. Powell had his uh, news conference out here. Status quo's in, you know, no change of uh, interest rate structure. But if you were listening to that news conference, folks, it was a very dovish news conference, meaning the questions that were asked, uh, each and every one of those questions that were asked, Paul was saying that, hey, listen, man, the Fed is going to be out here. The head Fed's going to be out here on the repo market. The Fed's going to be out here in the market in general. And guess what, folks? You're, cook you're kicking into 2020 next year. Uh, you get an election year. It's real possible that these interest rates won't go up or down the whole year, which, is, which would be pretty intense, folks, because that would, uh, that would be a very dovish occurrence. What that did out here today, it took King Dollar. We were looking for King Dollar to get down, test the lower end of the consolidation, and guess what? It ripped it apart, folks. 9709. 9701 was the lower end of consolidation. That's saying the King Dollar is now going to get down into this 95843 area. What King Dollar has done out here is this King Dollar has been going, has had an uptrend since February of 2018. It broke that uptrend out here today. Now, the question is going to be at the end of this week, really, because today on a weekly basis, I'm looking at a weekly chart. That's how, that's how uh, basically it broke it. So um, I want to see how it ends up at the end of the week. Uh, it's a decisive break, though. It's, it's a decisive break, and that's saying the king dollar uh, will now make its way down to the 89 area. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come visit back here tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock. Larry Pezzavento kicks us off. Great program. Have a great one, folks.